Hey girl, welcome back. Girl, you just in time for this love reading for Mr. Gucci Mane and his wife, Keisha Kior Mane. Okay, we got Mr. and Mrs. Mane in the building, okay? Now, we're going to take a break from all the true crime, girl. We're going to we're gonna do love. We're going to focus on a little love, okay, in this reading. Now, there's no crime here unless there's a crime in marrying a clone. Girl, I don't think that's illegal, okay? And if it is wrong, Keisha, Ke Keisha Kate don't want to be right, okay? Because she loved her clone, okay? Because just imagine if she was married to the real Gucci Mane, girl, she, it'd been some domestic situations already done happened. She'd have been pushed out of the car. She'd been spit on, girl, by accident, girl. Okay, he just got a little speech impediment. It just been by accident, girl. A little spit here and there, okay? Because he talking, he communicating. But for the most part, you know, she lucky with her clone because her, her clone has been upgraded. Because, you know, the, the Gucci Mane, the real Gucci Mane girl was a hot mess. But I love his rapping style. And that was about it, girl, because when he left the studio, girl, he let the world know he was a, he was out, girl, by his ruthless um, way of handling things. OK, he constantly stayed in jail. But this Gucci man has not this clone has not been arrested. This clone has beautiful moisturized hair. I don't know if that's a Jerry curl, a, a kit. Girl, but I know his beard is brand new. Girl, he don't even got the ice cream cone tattoo on his face no more. Okay, he don't even talk like Gucci. He don't talk like that no more. Girl, he British. He he's a he's a Brit now. So give it up for this clone. They they actually upgraded the clone, honey. Whether you like it or not, girl, the clone is good for it's good for us. Okay, we're safe with this clone. Okay, let's move on, girl. Let's do a reading. So we're gonna pull some cards on Gucci Mane and Keisha K. Now, girl, Keisha, Keisha may be a clone, too, because she got she keep this wig on, this shiny wig, girl. She keep lashes on, all this makeup, girl. But this is her second baby that they're having. So, I don't think clones can give birth. So, maybe she's safe with that. But then again, I don't know, girl. I can't keep up with what's going on in this technology, honey. But can clones get you pregnant? Girl, I guess the, I guess the, I guess the D still working. But, girl, let's get into the reading, girl. We're getting off track. Okay, so... We're going to ask the divine, please give us the best cards from this deck to describe the current love energy or relationship energy for Gucci and Keisha. Okay. Gucci and Keisha. Girl, I guess the clone do got some energy by him. These cards popped out real pretty. Okay, so we got calling in your soulmate. It says your prayers, your affirmations, and your visualizations help bring you together. So, girl, is this, are they calling out to a soulmate to come in now? Or did they manifest each other? Okay, this relationship was manifested. So it said they were calling in the soulmate. Now, did y'all make a call on your no no Nokia phone? Did y'all make a call to the Lord? Did y'all, well, how y'all make this call to the Hollywood powers that be? I just want to know. Moving on. It says chemistry is here, y'all. It says that's a strong magnetic attraction here. That's pulling these two together like a magnet. So there's a lot of chemistry here. Now, is it chemistry from the oils and the gases they got to put into the clone to keep them going? Or is it chemistry because they love each other? They're very much attracted to each other. So there's something that's pulling them here together that keeps them coming back. Okay, that's cute. And then attraction. Okay, they're attracted to each other. They think they are beautiful. They are beautifully made. Okay, was it beautiful made by the creator, or girl, or or a toy company girl? Which one? Okay, is it Martell? Okay, who 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 made them beautiful? Because they are very well manufactured. Okay, they are. They're cute together. So. We got calling in your soulmate. We got a lot of chemistry here and attraction. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Okay, girl. If that's what you see. That's what you hear. So let's pull some tarot energy on these two. What is up with these two? What is the total energy around their relationship? What do we need to know about the main family, honey? For twenty, for this year, what do we need to know? What do we, what can we expect from these two? Let's see what we get, girl. Okay, 
Let's get a little sloppy at the end, honey. So let's see. We got a couple cards that came out. Bam. And let's rack it up. Let's rack it up. It's a lot, but it seems like they all good cards for them, so that's good. Okay, no particular order. First, we have the Ace of Cups, honey. We got, okay, it's like this is a fulfilling relationship. At least each one, each person in this relationship is fulfilled. The cup is running over, okay? There is a lot of emotions here for for themselves and possibly for each other. But this is the Ace, so it's speaking about love for yourself. So if you love yourself, then you should be able to give love to your partner unless you're being selfish girl then we got this nine of cups it speaks about a wish coming true being happy very fulfilled when it comes to their emotions their cups are full their cups are full when it comes to these two there's no issue so far it's like they are very fulfilling for each other they probably spend a lot of time with each other Girl, she can't leave her clone behind. He'll malfunction. So, this is a wish come true. And think about it, girl. If you got a clone that you can just put in the closet, girl, and you ain't got to bring them out till you need them. Like, girl, that, that, that is a wish come true, girl. Let's, let's move on. We got the hang woman here. Now, this is somebody that's not moving, that's not leaving. Honey, this says it's a hang woman. So, and she's, she's in her head. She may be some type of, having some type of spiritual epiphany some type of insight but yet she's either either she's stuck and refusing to move or she's not moving because she don't want to move okay but she is in a position of not moving not doing but very much in your head then we got this king of wands energy we got this big d energy honey okay okay gucci man they say he may be a clone but he's still packing he still got that impact, baby. With the uh, King of Wands, is that big D energy, a lot of passion, professional, uh, somebody that um, has a passion and good at what he do, okay? Now, he could be out there swinging that wand, but honey, how you gonna swing that wand in the closet, girl? You can't swing it in the closet, baby, as long as I got you in the closet, baby. I don't give you permission to leave, okay? We got this two of pentacles situation, juggling a situation when it comes to life and when it comes to your uh, personal life, your personal life and your career. You're trying to juggle those pentacles, um, but I only see two pentacles here. Are they broke? Okay. They're trying to wish for a miracle. They're trying to do some things for a miracle and they're juggling. Okay. They're trying to take one pentacle from work to apply it to the bills, honey. But then it's like you need two more pentacles to pay to pay all the bills, baby. So it's juggling. It's a juggle juggle for them right now when it comes to their money. Because I don't see no other money coming around. I see a lot of cu I see cups here. They are fulfilled in their relationship. Uh, there is uh, a lot of thinking here in the middle, thinking about the next step. I don't know if you're worried, are you stressed? Um, but somebody got that big D energy, honey. He, he got potential. Now, what is he doing with the big D? Because the two of pencil came behind him. But then we got this eight of pentacles. We got somebody that's working hard, trying to be creative to create money, to bring money in. And they're thinking of different creative ways to do so. Creative ways to get their hands on money. Okay. They're thinking of different creative ways. Probably putting their hands in different stuff. And all of them may not be um, adding up or coming up or you know, producing money like they would want to. Then we got this eight of wands again. We got that one energy, this masculine energy coming in with that one, swinging that one. Okay, somebody that's very passionate. Um, so passionate, he said he got love to share. Okay, with this nine of cups. Now, is he giving out all his one energy to her, to his passions? Hmm. We got the four of pentacles. Now we got four we got four more pentacles here. It's like they're trying to save. They're doing a lot of saving. Okay, that's why they're not going nowhere and doing nothing, honey. They're trying to save on this money. They're trying to make sure that the every every pentacle count. So the money is a little stressful for them. And then we got the ace of pentacles. There's an offer that's being made. Okay, a way for them to get extra money to come in. So there's something that they're manifesting when it comes to money. There's an offer with the ace of pentacles.
Yeah, but it's an offer, but it's something that you can't speak about. You can't speak about whatever this offer is or whatever this situation is. Your hands are tied. Okay, you could be emotionally stressed out with this Eight of Swords energy, but it's also speaking about being bound and gagged. Okay, it's like you're being bound to gag to either a contract or you took a vow not to speak. Now, you can leave this situation. You don't have to be in this Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords energy, you choose to be here, or either you don't know how to set yourself free, but you know, you probably here because um, there's some type of money ties, there's some type of tie here that's holding you together with this Two of Pentacles. Um, it's something in your life and in your work situation that you're not speaking on, you probably can't speak on, or just refusing to speak on. Um, you know, you feel like your hands are tied, but they're not really tied. But we got this eight of ones in I mean I'm sorry, the world energy. Um again, the world is in in their hands. Uh wish being fulfilled when it comes to the world. Um being able to be creative when it comes to this world. Um still being able to con connect with people, um, having people to support you. So they still have support of the world. But then we got this ace of swords. It's still frustrating, something that's frustrating. Okay, something about the truth, either the truth starting to peak his head, but it's a lot of sore energies that's stressing them out. And they're not speaking about it. They're not able to speak about it, speak their truth. Okay, we got the Six of Pentacles. Um, either need to turn inwards. Okay, so you need to turn inwards to find your answers. Okay, you're trying to find your answers in the outward type of situation. You won't find them. With the Six of Pentacles, you need to go inwards. Six of Pentacles is also about giving and receiving. Okay, properly giving, properly receiving. Don't forget to get, to receive, honey, because I'm not going to be giving in 2023 without receiving, period. So this is about being able to look out for yourself and make sure that you're taking care of yourself as well as taking care of others. Then we got the Six of Swords with anxiety, manipulation, honey with a lot of first you still frustrated okay either you frustrated with yourself or you beefing with other people around you but or or or, or it's the beef just in your head because i don't see nobody here but we got the queen of swords now this showing the feminine energy that's very cold abrasive honey she demands her respect she demands the truth and she also got her hand out for some money okay if you don't give me the truth i will be uh collecting another way okay she very cold but then we got this nine of pentacles energy which is about she cold but you're showing off it's like you're showing off your pentacles but as we see you barely got pentacles because we got the nine of pentacles but it's like you're showing off like you that be like you got that money and you not you don't there's a money struggle here okay you're trying to come up with ways and be creative and keep your head down to come up with this money but then when you step out you stepping out you're trying to show that you got the money but this two of pentacles say you don't got it and you stressed out about it you i mean you very stressed out about this two of pentacles situation because it's like it's starting to show in your life situation your business situation it's, it's like you're trying to juggle it and then the math is not mathing girl so you're over here trying to be creative and come up with different ways to make money Okay, and and but you're still trying to keep your persona with the world. You're trying to make sure that you still keep your fans, keep everybody happy, but you frustrated. So the frustration is starting to show a little bit. So we got it, but at the at the end of the day, it's all about show. They're gonna show that they're money. They're gonna show that they got it going on. But girl, not so much. Now they do love each other. They do have um, the cups are here. The cups are cupping. Okay, the math is math when it comes to the cups. Okay, well, we got at the beginning, at least at the beginning, it was about the cups. But at the end, we got this sword energy and trying to juggle these two pentacles. Now, it seems like Keisha getting a little stressed out about it. She may be becoming a B-I-T-C-H, honey, at the house, honey. And she don't give a damn that she's being one, okay? Now, she was emotionally available and trying to come up with ways to make money. But now at the end, she's like, nah. Nah, she is a different type of Keisha here. It ain't the same Keisha, honey. Have y'all heard Keisha speak? Because Guap or whatever his name is, girl, Gucci, okay, he is coming off as somebody that's swinging at one. Now, either he's somebody that has the opportunity to make money, and is he doing it? I don't know because she's frustrated with him. She's pointing the swords at him. 
Okay, it seems like the swords are being pointed up to this to this king of um king of wands energy. Especially when it comes to this wish fulfillment. It's like, baby, I'm, we're not living a dream no more. Okay? So, I don't know if, if this calling in your soulmate is Keisha calling in somebody else in front of um, her clone. It's like, girl, your clone right there. You over there manifesting somebody else to come in and save the day. And then we got this attraction here when it comes to this king of wands. So, either he is still very attracted to his wife. Or he out there swinging that wand. He up there saying that big D. But it's like, honey, he getting rejected somewhat by Keisha. I'm seeing Keisha rejecting the, the love sometimes, okay? And and she all in her head. She think it's like she plotting and planning. Keisha is plotting and planning and maybe even saving money. She may be even pushing some money to the side just for her escape girl. Or pushing money to the side for her shopping. Okay, because she out here showing out. So, let's pull some love cards from the love oracle. Okay, give me more about this tarot spread. Okay, what do we need to know about Keisha, Keisha and Gucci Mane relationship? Okay, so this was the one that was turned over. Where is it? I can't find it no more. Oh. Okay, well that's... Well, anyway, the sunglasses was up. So it seemed like somebody is stalking and looking and, and probably observing this relationship and looking at it in a different type of light. Let me do one more. Let's see. Give me more about Keisha. Girl, is Keisha getting tired of her clone? She tired of babysitting it? Because how fun is it when you with a clone, girl? How fun is it? Okay, because you can't put no water on them. And what if he malfunction? So we got camera here. It's like reminiscent, keepsake, perception. It's some type of perception that they're keeping up when it comes to this relationship. Okay, they may be constantly posting on Instagram, posting cameras, captions. But it says learn from your past. Something about the past they need to learn from so they can make memories, good memories. But they trying to keep up the perception right now, okay? And also speaking about reminiscing. We got somebody that's running in this relationship. It says that's a runner in a codependent relationship. There's some type of fear of intimacy and listening to your ego. Now, ego. Got a big ego with the big D and the little D energy. That could be... Uh, Gucci Mane with his one, but then again, it could also be Keisha being cold and abrasive. Okay, he probably out there looking another direction because she being cold. She she's the one probably giving out this sore energy. He just want to throw out the one. He he said he'll give it to her, but she's so mean. Okay, mean, and then she she's stressed out about the money. Okay, she's saying she only see two pentacles, but girl, what about the four pentacles you put up in, in your own little account? Okay. When you had him locked in the closet, girl, you had went to the bank and made an extra deposit. Okay? And it's like you juggling the money over here. She trying to juggle the money and make it make sense. Okay? Next, we got the seduction here. Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and a third-party interference. So, girl, I guess he comes out the closet every once in a while, girl. And it, this could be him. It could be her. Okay. But we do have somebody that's being seduced here. We got a third party interference. Um, hooking up. Somebody is dating in this relationship. Okay. We got mirrors here. But they're mirroring each other. So what one is doing to the other, the other one is doing. Okay. Whether you see it or not. It's like self-image. A relationship reflection. A re relationship that reflects our wounds. There's some introspective. Okay, so whatever's in the inside of them, if they had any type of toxic situation, girl, they, they, they allow it to come out in the relationship. Okay, it's coming up. It's showing up now. Next, we got the coffin. That's an ending here. Girl, is she tied to her clone? That's an ending that's going to bring a new beginning. Now, this coffin can also bring about a new beginning. It could be with the new baby. But that's going to be growth. That's going to be change. That's going to be liberation. That's going to be a transition. Somebody's going to transition. Now, they can transition in this little wooden box girl. Or they can transition into something new. It's going to be a new change here. Next, we got somebody that's wearing a mask girl. 
Now, if somebody's wearing a mask here, it seems like it's Keisha. Because the clone, the clone don't even know what his mask is. If it was, if it was the old Gucci, I'd say it was Gucci. But right now, with this Queen of Swords here, he only showing up with the big D energy. Now, he probably out there cheating. Or at least she think he cheating. Or whatever. Um... But it's like somebody's not showing their true feelings in this relationship. Somebody is hiding something. Could be hiding a little couple of coins, a couple of pentacles, baby. Somebody has a different persona. Somebody pretending. Somebody pretending to be fancy. And girl, you only got two pentacles, four pentacles here, honey. You over here trying to work on eight. Okay, plotting and planning, but you coming out like you a whole nine pentacles. Trying to it's all about your image. But you pretending you're deluding and there's some gaslighting that's going on here girl we got the snake there's somebody that's being competition somebody's an enemy somebody's being very clever and malicious it says look over your shoulder because this is the other woman there's another woman here so it's official girl unless she cheating with a woman girl we got gucci gucci so i guess this clone is kind of picking up the channeling the old gucci then we got dating, meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plans, and setting a date. So, yeah, they, oh, girl, either both of them out there trying to get back out there. And, but somebody's definitely dating here. Then, but this relationship is ascending, transcending. They're trying to get past the obstacles. They're trying to learn. They're expanding. It's coming to a new phase in their life, and they're preparing for a union. Now, we got... Somebody's trying to hold on to old memories here because somebody's trying to leave the relationship. Somebody's pulling away. Now, somebody is probably at work seducing another party, a third party situation. And because they found out about somebody seducing a third party, it's like, okay, well, if you can do it, I'm going to do it. Okay. So it's like they came to an ending of their relationship, honey. Girl, somebody's about to hurt somebody. Okay. Somebody's about to get hurt. It's like we need to, we need to uh, either straighten out these problems or let's dead it all okay we done let's let's put it all out there let's it's gonna be over because right now we're not showing true feelings okay i feel like you're a snake you feel like i'm a snake okay because i'm over here saving money okay you ain't bringing in that much money but then somebody out there dating it's like how dare you go out there and, and deal with a third party when you're not even taking care of me but it's like after all this toxicness they are trying to get past the obstacles here, okay, without trying to hurt each other, if they can, okay, because Keisha pissed off at the end, Keisha ain't happy, and at the beginning, she did everything to try to make this relationship work, she did everything trying to make their money together, she did everything to allow the world to accept them, okay, and there was emotions here. Okay, they was getting money together. They was looking good together. But it seems like things starting to get, um, as time go on, uh, somebody was leaving the relationship. There was not enough intimacy here. Like, they still was attracted to each other. Like, they still was doing each other, girl. But, honey, it's still, it's like, how? I thought you were satisfied, but quite, he clearly was not. Because he's, there still was somebody going out having third-party interference, um, seduction here. Somebody, because like I said, you always calling in your soulmate. It's like, I thought I was your soulmate. It's like, but you are, but sometimes you're not home. You're not available. And sometimes your money is funny. But we got attraction here. It's like your attraction, you attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. So it's like you had got to the point that it wasn't fun. It was like a lot of stress here. And she couldn't keep up their persona. It's like she was getting upset. She probably wasn't even posting a lot. But... Um, I see that they started to marry each other, okay, starting to hide who they truly feel, honey, couldn't trust each other no more, but then it's like at the end, it's like, okay, let's, let's see if we can get this back together or we're going to move on, okay, either we're going to get past the obstacle or we're going to fix the obstacles, that's what I see, now, let's see what they want to say to each other, let's see what Gucci want to say to Keisha and what Keisha, Keisha want to say to Gucci, now, Gucci, what you want to say to Keisha right now? Because Keisha, like, she mad, and we need you to say something to her. So, Gucci, what you want to say to Keisha? Now, 
Okay, now Keisha, what you want to say to Gucci girl? Because I know you over there upset. Let's see. Give me some words for Gucci, Keisha. Keisha said she ain't going to even open her eyes in the picture no more. She said she's not going to open her eyes in his picture no more. She's not going to get him that satisfaction. All right. So those Keisha cards. Here's Gucci cards. Now Gucci wants to say to Keisha, it says, I only wanted your money. Wow. Is that why she at the beginning working, working hard? Because he was in prison when they first met. And but it says, I only wanted your money. Huh? Gucci, you the one had the money. Girl, your clone is your clone is tripping. Next it says female. Why did you say female? Well, he's saying this to Keisha. He said, I only want your money. Okay, because you're a female. Okay, he, I guess he was pimping her up in his mind. He says, I am finally financially secure. So I guess he said it's time for him and his, his clone is to move on, baby. He said he don't need to be here no more. Oh, he said, I wish I never met you. Girl, so I guess she's been on him being a big bitch. Okay, he, he done. Gucci. Gucci, your clone speaking out. Okay, I'm proud of you. Okay, he said, I wish I could unsay my hurtful words. It's too late. Because you still owe him saying them. It's too late, baby. I guess the clone malfunctioning, baby. It says, yes. He, are, he is mal malfunctioning. He said, but I blocked you. He said, you want malfunction enough to push that star 69 block. Okay. He said, he blocked her. He says, when you least expect it, baby, he's going to pop up on him. He's going to pop out the closet. But then he said, I feel you leaving me behind. But baby, he, she had to. She If she put you in the closet for the night, it, she had to close the door and, and go on by her business. She can't go in there with you. He said, but I forgive you. What, for her stacking his money up over here? Did you know she was doing that? You forgive her? He said, he's not dating though. He said, he's just out there having fun with females. Okay, he's not dating. He said, in 9 12 months. He said, he said, give you a baby so you can be happy. In 9 and 12 months, you should be good and fulfilled. And he said, please call me back. She can't because you said you blocked her. Okay. So the clone is malfunctioning a little bit, y'all. Just It's okay. It's okay. It, it's just like they're having a little toxic thing. But Keisha says she over here dating. Keisha says she dating, girl. Okay. Or is he dating? She said, I will never forgive you. Uh-oh. So, again, I guess this mirror is here because, like, somebody was out there dating. So, she's like, girl, if you're going to date, I can do it too. Okay? What's good for you is good for me. And I'll never forgive you. She said, I love myself more. Well, we kind of figured that, Keisha. Okay? That's why she said she's still going to use his money to show up and show out. She do love herself more. But she says, can I have my personal items back? What items, girl? Because he clearly don't forgot about them. Okay? So she want her stuff back. She said, we are more than just friends. Ooh, girl, who? Let him find out. Girl, don't, don't bring out the old Gucci man, girl. Don't, don't send that man back to jail. She says, I can't find anyone like you. Hmm. Yeah, because the new men you find, you can't put them in the closet and lock the door, baby. You can't. Okay. Then she said, do you still think of us, about us? Where you at, girl? She said, I want to kiss you. I only wanted your heart. So, I, I guess he thought that she only, want, she only wanted money. And I guess she just stacking money just in case. But she said she only wanted his heart. At least that's what she's saying. She said, all love songs remind me of you. And then she said, I miss your touch. Okay. Now, can the clone touch her? Did he have water on his hand the last time he touched her and shocked her? Because shock and hurt, girl. Trust me. Every time I go to the grocery store and I'm touching something, it's like, girl, what's going on? I'm just trying to shop. But anyway, girl, this is going to conclude the reading for Gucci Mane and Keisha Kior Mane. Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. Stay tuned for the next one. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.